Yo, what's going on everybody? Riot's here playing Ark Survival Evolve back on the Jurassic World server, the Ark Jurassic World server, where we're recreating it in Ark. It's been about a week since I've done an episode on this, which kind of sucks. I gotta do them sooner because we're really trying to construct this bad boy. We have so many people building epic things. So here we have the official Ark Arena. I'm gonna get into this because this, this was built mainly by Dreadlocks, if not completely by Dreadlocks. I'm not entirely sure. I'm just assuming because right next to me is like Dreadlocks Bar and Grill. This entire place is just so freaking perfect. So I'm gonna get it. Yeah, just gonna dive right into this bad boy. If you guys want more Jurassic World structured uh, arc videos, make sure to leave a like on the video. It gives it its power. So this thing, it's not 100% completed, which or I think just this part right over there, the docks. And it seems to be branching off to the right as well, which I'm thinking is gonna go to some sort of privatized hotel room or something like that. I'm imagining that seems to be the general consensus so yes there's two entrances the docks are not completed but we'll get into that in a bit right now we're gonna be using the front door front door is where it's look at that epic ass arena right there see that's where the people enter that's where the dinosaurs enter it's absolutely perfect all right enter on in here it's like dreadlocks just got off line well that no that's elinus so this, of course, is where, like, when you go through, you know, guests come in through here, you go on through here, gotta wait in your standard issue line, get your ticket from Dreadlocks up here, what's going on, buddy? See, so he just waves hi to you, That's, what an awesome dude. By the way, I did not select this clothes. Do I even have a pink mustache on? What the hell did they do to me while I was asleep? What the hell? I, I mean, I'm pretty sure only Markiplier can pull off pink mustaches, now I just look like... I, I definitely look on the homosexual yeah. spectrum of things. It's super cool too, so yeah, of course, once you get your ticket, once you get your information, take care of you go through here, and then you start your journey out into the ride. But look at this cool thing too, Dreadlocks did. I like this right here, because we should be preaching complete security. We all saw what happens when some slimy little dude turns off the power in, in like a Jurassic Park type scenario. So the generator here is guarded by a turret. You step in here, the turret will blast your ass. You're not deactivate the power in our Jurassic Park. That's just not going to be a thing. No, we learn from the movies. Absolutely, no one's turning the power off in this park. That is awesome right there. <laughs> That's... We will have some staged Jurassic Park or dinosaur release scenarios though, but we're going to do it where the people are playing as the dinosaurs, so it's just like, just like the movie, man. We might have to wait to add that mod though once we're ready to just straight up record because play as dino can come with some issues. What's going on here, bud? What's going on here, man? <laughs> Again, this place is under construction. I kind of just woke up here, to be honest. I woke up in the center of the arena dressed in full pink gear, just kind of amazed at what was around me. Pretty brilliant way to bring me to your structure, I'm not going to lie. Good, good on you, buddy. All right, so here we have Dred's Bar and Grill. If you don't want to shop at the Bar and Grill, you do have the option to walk around it. But I assure you, after the journey to get here, you're gonna be you're gonna want some bar and grill. This place is phantasmagorical. It looks like a typical bar in Skyrim, which is just amazing. There's the bar back there. There's some cheeseries and maps, some candles with a pin code. Just random stuff all over the place. I love it. Look at the detail. Jesus Christ, so much detail. This is great. Oh, is this where people get their order taken? No way. He's even got a front desk. I got a table for two. It's one moment. A 15 minute wait. Damn it, gotta wait 15 minutes. I guess I'll just sit here. This, You really thought this out geniusly right here, Dreadlocks. This is exactly, this is like restaurant to the core right here. The pimp table for the pimps. And then, yeah, the bar. This is where I'd be found right here. Oh, no way. Barkeep. I ain't getting any younger over here. Look at them, even have a bartender, Dred's Bar and Grill. Obviously, he's the main employee here. This is this is too great. For those of you who are confused, what's the point of all this is, we are going to have subscribers on here in the park. And obviously, it can't just be just all looking at dinosaurs. Like, if you're going to be on here for a bit, you're going to have to have some other activities to fill in the time. You're going to get hungry. Yes! I got a drink! Well, a mug, for the most part. I can sit here and look at it. I have a drink. It's real enough to me, man. This is so great. See, this over here, I'm not sure what this is going to be, but clearly there's some sort of structural shiznizzles going on over here. Look at that freaking arena, too. <whistles> too damn grand. Okay, so we're not done looking at the bar and grill, though. It's the attention to detail that really makes this park what it is, man. Even look, look how old that freaking lamp is. Or that, that, what the hell are those things called again? Jack-o'-lanterns? Chandeliers. Look how old the wax is on that chandelier. That is, is aged. It's been a while. Oh my god, are you kidding me? This, and now it's an official, now it's, okay, well I might have to, 
flip turn my shizzles it's now an official bar that's nuts for the fireplace right here and a chill in the back yeah see right here the docks are under construction it's pretty fantastic how did he access the bar i guess that's not for me to know right so i'm not an employee so cool look at the bar oh my god he's got cookers back here grills Fridges, general. He's this is literally. Oh my god, look at this freaking. Oh, he's just got everything you could ever need at the bar. You just go in and it's it's you could have a full on waiting staff. We could have waitresses and everything. This is mind blowing. I made sure to walk through for like the first. I ran through here a maze, but I didn't look at the detail yet. I wanted to wait for the video. <laughs> There's can I can I lay in here? Oh, it's fast travel. It's a bed. It counts as a bed, damn it. Still pretty awesome though. We're just taking this place in right now. It's so great. You can legit fill this up with like 30 people. We could have like every we could just do a tour group when everyone's on the server, we all move together. This is where everyone's gonna unload their crap for the most part once you arrive by a ferry. This is just too great. Too great. We'll deal with putting the crap in your rooms, don't even worry about it. We'll figure it out. Oh, rooftop dining. That is baller right there. Show tablecloth. What the hell? Oh, I need to activate some bloom quality. It is blindingly white. Oh, the chimney coming up right here. You would smell the barbecue on the roof. It would surely lure dinosaurs, though. I could imagine that being a thing. Oh, there we go. That's just way better. It should just have that auto activated. See, this roof, I assume we still need some chairs up here. But yeah, you'll have a brilliant view of the arena from up here. It's just, and then once you're all full and you're done with your shiz. Then, how's the new pink hair, right? Oh, ha, 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 ha. Very funny, man. I'm questioning my sexuality over here. Wait, do I still like women? I did just break up with my girlfriend a couple weeks ago. I do have a pink mustache. All the signs point to no. Oh, my God. And here we go. Wait, what's the sign say? Was I don't come here to read. Okay, under construction. All right, cool. I thought, I thought it was going to try and teach me about the dinosaurs, which would be cool, too, actually. 65% complete. I didn't even read that part before, so it's still just like, oh, look, the front desk. There's not even employees in here yet because it's still under construction. That is too awesome right there. I feel like his beard makes him look more manly than me. Yep, he has more manly facial hair, that's for sure. Don't you laugh at me. This is cool, too, because obviously you're going to need stuff to look at as you're walking through, heading off to your seats and everything. Ooh, trippy. This must be where the scientists work. Oh, that's awesome. He put a giga thing next to the that, that's that's cool that that's fancy right there That's the way it was always intended to be. This is gonna freak guests out though, man <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I definitely got a laugh over the over the little pink mustache. Yeah, this is gonna freak guests out. Absolutely I'm so out of it today. I keep just zoning out. I'm actually kind of worried for my health right now I like I just kind of like stared into this for like a couple minutes and then just zone but yo I'm so out of it right now. Blah, blah, it's just I just keep coming back to life I think I like, keep dying for a second and then and then just coming back out of nowhere You coming up with me buddy up on the elevator? Here we go. This is how people everyone just and there's these elevators are on like every angle of the structure too It could not be could not be more baller Oh, this is just dangerous right here. No, I would exit entrance this way. Okay, you can't fall through the cracks. Never mind, it's not dangerous. And here we have the arena. Look at this grand shiz right here. Now, I don't actually know if he intends on putting a bunch of seats down, but I actually think this would be cooler without a bunch of seats. You know what I'm saying? Well, for one, there wouldn't even be that much room. Plus, we already have the Moses Stadium completely crowded with like as many. Oh, look, a VIP box. Completely crowded with as many seats as you're gonna need. And plus, this is like the arena. You don't sit down in a, at an arena. Everyone's gonna be standing and cheering and going just nuts. Just, yeah, exactly. Yeah, seats would make this super weird. You can't, this would be like sitting at like a punk concert or a metal concert. That's why I don't go to metal concerts in arenas. I only go to ones where it's in giant grass fields because I don't play that sitting down stuff. Pretty grand design too, because the majority, oh, don't even think about it. <laughs> Kill all players, this is terrifying to see. But look, it's like a lot of the Moses Stadium had to be redone after that video, but this, it's all just so created perfectly. Well, then again, it isn't floating on water, and it isn't built by a dummy named Riot, but still, it's quite phantasmagorical. Yes, <laughs> I was hoping you were kidding. But yeah, look, even this is just giant glass walls, so you can't go through it, but it's 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 still visible. You can still see through it with, um, with like, the bar. I like that the bars are there. That way, it's not just, like... Because that way you know that you can't pass way through there instead of just like a giant glass wall. You can't have a glass wall around an arena. That would be 
That just doesn't make any sense unless it's some sort of adamantium glass. Damn, I found the jackpot. I'm taking these gas grenades. <laughs> You've lost your gas grenades, sir. Um, what else should I take? There's some pretty useful stuff in here. I feel like would wouldn't mind having in the old pockets. No, I couldn't do it because this is this is Dred's freaking arena right here. Oh yeah, the VIP box. Hang on, this stuff though. Um, Godzilla was saying that he updated it right here. The gas grenade released a lot of smoke to scare off smaller dinos. Pulling the pin starts a two-second timer to an explosion. I don't remember that part. But yeah, see, it's Jurassic Park 3 grenades. I showed them off in a video before. But they're supposed to scare off bigger dinos than just... Because last time they just scared off compies. And, um... Obviously, you're gonna need to scare off more. The whole point in, like, the movie was that they scared off raptors. I think it's been updated. I'm not sure. Alright, here we go. Now we're cooking. Oh, 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 I'm finding my way around here just yet. How do you get up here? I don't think you're supposed to. So here is where they enter through, right? Yeah, that's this is where one of your competitors enter through. And then over there is where the other competitor enters through. And they just duke it out in the arena. That's too great. This is a little dangerous right here. Possibly might have some railings coming on the way. Someone falls down this and they break their legs. It's just, it's just Gardenzo beans. What is that epic music I'm hearing? Oh, is it the dodo? There was like some epic dodo. I think that's what this is. But, um... Yeah, see, Elinus is working on something pretty awesome too. Look at this, the VIP room right here. You guys hear this epic battle music? I'm hoping it's not drowned out so much by the sound of my feet. My feet are so loud. Elevator's coming down, people. What'd you just throw at me? Gross. What are you throwing at me? We gotta wait for dreads. Come on up. Come on over, buddy. He's gonna- Oh, he's just- Just almost made it. Oh, man. That sucked. Alright, we'll go back to this. <laughs> Alright, no, no, no. Dreads, damn it. I brought it back down. Okay, alright. He's, he's having none of my crap right there. <laughs> God damn it, Riot. So this is the VIP arena right here. This is so freaking cool. This battle music could not be better. I'm really excited to see how this is going to extend right here. Because, obviously, like, this looks kind of risky. It is! There's the dodo! It just came down from the skies. Trippy. I wonder if this is going to be some more of a VIP lookout or what's going on. Either way, it's very important that there's a VIP. Like, this is... This is a very important aspect. It's where you, um, like, the... I don't know, the president gets to decide if he has to finish off the target. You know, like, one of those thumbs up, like, a Caesar type situation. So this is how this would go down right here. One competitor, competitor, well, a competitor who's a predator. One competitor brings their dino to this side, the other to the other side. Although I think Dread is already in there, correcto? Then you step on through, blasting copyright music. Oh, there's the Spino. It appeared by magic. <laughs> However, did he do such things? Oh, nice. We have a little staircase going down too. Oh, there we go. Now we're going to do this professionally right here. That was just the rough run through. That never happened right there. <laughs> and now we enter again. We're even replaying farther the copyright music. I step into the arena first because he just exited. This is so grand. Look at this. Greeted by cheering crowds and everything. So the crowd goes wild. Now I understand why that dodo's there for battle music. This is so great. The best thing about this is we're all gonna dine at the bar and grill first too. I mean, this is like this is this is the after activity here. All right, let's do this thing. All the same, this will be crazy. Bruh. Jesus Christ! Okay, well, in an alternate universe where we weren't in the same tribe, this is what happens when I have this disabled the whole time. Did I? I feel like I should have known that he was in the same tribe as me. Obviously, because I'm using instructions. That was silly. Told you guys I was having a weird day, zoning out like crazy, but this... This is why we need subscribers to come on the server for these shows. So, um... That's, that'd be the way to do it, have subscribers fight. That'd be awesome right there. There we go, there's our arena. Oh no! Oh god! Oh Jesus, I've ruined everything. Well, we have the arena, I just really hope that Griffin doesn't die or I'm gonna feel really bad. 
Really, really, really bad. Really bad. Really, okay, there. <laughs> All right, everything's cool. There's the arena effect right there. And with the heightened risk of this guy's actual Mr. Poopy Butthole dying. Dreads that. Yeah, I feel like he's rather worried about his griffin right now. <laughs> well, at least we got to see the real effect of the fear that happens with a live dinosaur battle arena. These things happen. All right, so here's the newest update so far, which is crazy because the docks aren't even complete. This isn't even is 65% complete. This whole place is going to be fantastic. Any Linus has been working on some pretty crazy stuff as well. So is Rocket Launch here. She's just been having a lot of uh, computer issues and that kind of stuff. But we got a good thing going on here. I'm still kind of just working on my giant um, aviary, but I think I'm going to quit on it because I it completely underestimated once you start like three miles up expanding down with glass. How Once you get down to the bottom. No. Once you get down to the bottom, um, um, close this gate. Protect the griffin. It's, 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 it's like 10 miles wide of just placing glass. It's the saddest thing on the planet. This arena is going to be pretty awesome. I think it's not just going to be dinosaur fights, by the way. Not at all. I mean, obviously, we're going to have some people in here. Fist fighting and sword fighting arrows, but this is going to be great. Gladiator times, people. So, yes, this is very exciting. All the work that's being done in this Jurassic Park slash world slash arc world. So, yeah, if you guys want to see more, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace! It's time to get in here.